We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. A family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. Learning to document our adventures in homeschool and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Uh, I... <laughs> Morning, Kendall. Morning. 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 From Wonderful Woman. By who? The Lopez. <laughs> Luciano Lozano. Next is the first Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and GPS. Nucleus. And then <laughs> Daddy and I were talking about how you sleep at night. <laughs> Wait, we're talking about how I sleep? Yes. Crazy. Let me see. Let me see how you sleep. Uh, often. Yes, like this. <laughs> wow. Now it's that stuff. through my day today it's, I need to get things out of my mind and out of my head guess where I'm starting with my blog <laughs> uh, I've had so many different ways of creating starting things trying things over the years and um, it ended up all coming like crumbling down is what it felt like uh, but I feel like that's probably not what it has been at all it's been like a learning process for me and i need to be able to document to get this all out um we have started up with our study days um i've been trying to shake ourselves out of needing to start and stop school years and things like that um and just really understanding the essence of what it means to live and to learn that is like been the goal and will always be the goal but i I have to say like your girl's been struggling <laughs> I've been struggling I've been struggling to um, keep things together and I think it's nothing but the ultimate distraction and I just need some accountability to just keep moving forward so this is my accountability my documentation of myself raw and real and um, not all polished and pretty but just here um, made it through the study time of our day and that was a whole emotional roller coaster for me but great for the kids uh, we've implemented different resources and things that they just kind of naturally work their way through and i'm trying to figure out where i fit in right now um i was a lot more hands-on and did all the things when the kids were little and now that they're older and now that we started up with like sports and just other things and brian is just so much more involved than he was or was able to be in the earlier years i feel like i'm having like a true meltdown to build back up that's i feel like where i am 
you know, hate to call it a midlife crisis, but I am about to be 40 soon and that is what it's feeling like, okay? Um, but I wanna embrace it because I know it's gonna be one of those things I can look back on and just, you know, tell as another part of the story. And so I don't wanna overlook, you know, all that there is to be grateful for because there is so much to be grateful for. But anyway, Serena. <laughs> you are i feel like everything that i've tried out and opened up from my shop and um you know the blog and the youtube channel and instagram and all these other tools like really cool tools that you can use to like create um one of the things i've really been struggling with is feeling like i'm not creating at all anymore um and there's just so many little pieces to keep up with and that's not what i want i want to be creative i want to use the gifts of creativity that the lord has given me um, with my kids with the family um and i want to be true to that and i'm trying to figure out how to do that so everything that i've tried i just kind of like one by one closed everything down cleaned everything up so that i could release myself of other people's expectations and i don't think that's saying like no go to any of those things i just think that it's closing them up to get um to what the heart of it all is what God would have for me to do um, in the right way at the right time and that's where I am right now um, there's so many little things that come in and try to like really just kill and defeat all of your growth and things like that and I think that's why documentation is so good because it's a way that you can like see outside of what's inside of your head because I think just being able to pause and reflect and consider and all of those things that are good about being a reasoning being you know what i mean like human with a heart and a soul and like decision making you know capabilities and reason and stuff i think all of that stuff is being attacked i think the truth is being attacked and i want my mind to be healthy and I want my mind to be Christ-like and I feel like that is now at attack being attacked more now than ever and so we're gonna face this head-on on this Wednesday afternoon after I made it through you know whatever parts of the study time in today I don't want to be bound by any rules and you know law and those types of things i really just want to truly understand the freedom that it is to walk with christ and that is like where i am i'm so grateful for my kids that they are healthy that they are just so incredibly intelligent and gifted and you know graced to do what they're meant to do and i'm just trying to walk in what was meant for me and um just really own those responsibilities and areas of steward you know things that i'm supposed to be stewarding which is first and foremost them and my family my husband my kids you know my parents siblings those types of things friends family um so i want to be well want to be deceived I that's why I'm documenting <laughs> because I think it is good to not let your thoughts and feelings run away with you and just to be disciplined to show up and um, let this camera and this story talk back to me that's kind of the goal so I want to start first and foremost with my creativity with my block I've been paying to have space on this blog for years and while nothing has really come of it in the sense of like making a whole bunch of money and you know success and fame like those things are not my goal and I've always had a strong understanding that they 
are nice for a while and they feel good for a while but i knew i've always understood that 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 type of stuff is not sustainable um and i've never wanted to like really go after that so what i want from my blog is a space to be able to just kind of share share for me like um not care who's reading or who's listening but just to be able to have a space to just kind of like uh, keep these memories and knit them together and i've always wanted that i guess i just kind of got caught up in what people were into and what they were reading or watching or listening to and that's the main reason why spaces like instagram and things were just such a hard place for me because it's just like this carousel like of stuff that you're never in front of. You're always like on that ride and I don't want that. <laughs> like, um, so I don't know, I'm going to blog. I don't know who is going to read and that doesn't matter. I want a space where I can just keep these memories and um, put these memories like all in one space and be able to look at them as a full body as it grows if that makes sense so a space to add pictures and videos and thoughts and um films and just a space to actually create and keep memories of those creations um i don't want to be bound by all of these worldly things these worldly ideas of success and creativity and authenticity and like i don't want to be bound by any of that just want a space where I can be consistent and consistently show up using gifts and sharing all the grace. Because um, it says his grace is sufficient and his power is perfected in my weaknesses. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that his power will rest on me. That is where I am, friends, in my motherhood, in my life. There's just so much to be grateful for. And it goes so far beyond like um, things. I, I am grateful for those i'm happy about those things we've got cute book bags and cute tables and lots and lots of books that you know have accumulated along the way in love we just had our kitchen redone i'm grateful like for those things but they are just worldly things and they make life nice but that's not soil that's not good soil that's not good fruit that's just stuff you know anybody can have stuff i'm grateful for those things but what i am grateful for is just health and strength and um salvation <laughs> like to know that i can fall and get back up again um to know that i am extended grace um in my relationships with the kids with my husband with my parents like just for forgiveness for love like i'm just so grateful for those things like real love like um patient love kind love love that's long suffering you know that love is what i'm grateful for it's second chance third chance fourth chance like <laughs> i'm grateful for those things you know so and all this cute stuff cute face cute hair cute body you know perfect little family lots of kids you know all of those things like <laughs> they come and go they fade away you know relationships change friendships change People don't live forever, you know, features change, weight fluctuates, like all of those things, like just don't matter, <laughs> you know, the perfect diet, you know, the perfect like um, lifestyle, like eating lifestyle, whether you're like vegetarian or vegan or pescatarian or like whatever, like those things just don't matter you know they do affect 
your quality of life, depending on what you need, what your body needs, where you are, those things they are to be mindful of, they are to learn about. I think that's what I'm excited about homeschool life. It's not to get it like perfectly right. It's not to get kids off into some Ivy League college. It's not even to get them off to make these amazing big time, you know, careers. It's just about being grateful for understanding the true essence of what it means to live and learn and enjoy that journey. Like every day, just like bask in the, the joy of learning, like, and being able to enjoy something that there's so much still to learn from, you know, like enjoying the sun and still not completely understanding you know, how it works, how it shines, how it's fueled, like those things like matter. You know, you can still enjoy the wind and the waves and still not fully understand them. You can enjoy watching television, listening to music and still not fully understanding. It's like if you enjoy it fully where you are and also just really invite yourself into the journey of learning a little bit more about it each day like these tiny miracles like just to enjoy learning you know not the destination but like your current today your current now that's where I am trying to really 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 shake off all these other distractions that say pay attention to later you know you make plans for the future you make decisions you know, for the future, but be now, be here, be now, be in faith now, believe now, enjoy now, live, live now. Like, that's what I'm trying to do, friends. <laughs> I'm trying to read more, you know, learn more, dance more, color more. find those things that he's gifted me with and uncover those little treasures along the way like that's where I, that's what I'm trying to do so I don't want to get stuck in plans and laws and blueprints and I want the new you know of God But no eye has seen, no ears heard, and it has nothing to do with material things. Like, just that's something that, like, only he can. So, that's what I got today. Just showing up, being here, being true and honest. Just, like, a breath of fresh air. Like, that's what I'm going for here. So, I'm going to vlog today. <laughs> I'm going to post it today. I'm going to share today. I'm going to create today. And I'm grateful for that. So. Hey guys. I have a game tonight. And as some of you may know, but probably don't, I turned nine on Thursday. So, I am officially nine years old, older than my bestie. But she's taller than me. So I'm giving you a review of what my birthday party was like. It was full on sunshine, rainbow. I even have a rainbow sprinkler in the backyard. Confetti in the balloon. So just, it was great. It was so, so great. So, just saying to you guys, my B-Day was amazing. Just for you to know that I hope your kids have um an as amazing birthday as I did. My parents were awesome. And they were for nine years. See you soon. I have a soccer jersey. phone and the unicorn squishy I just got from the dentist today. I don't know about you guys but 
we just had our kitchen redone one month ago and it is wet. It looks so happy. I don't know if you remember from other videos, but we used to have it like well tan. And did you guys like that? You definitely like this kitchen better. You cannot. You cannot deny it. Nobody can. It's just, it looks so good. Better than the other one. And we're just so glad to have new things around the house. Especially this couch. A few days after we got it, Kendall will say, I'm like, I miss the old one. But it was tan. The old one was tan. It was old. Oh, it's nice to have new things in the house. Hope you're all pumped up to see me play. My mom is obviously going to get some pictures and videos because she always does. Beast mode. Bye. We've got dinner going. This one, this one is. Bye. Cool. This one, yours truly, Kendall. Kendall, me. <laughs> <laughs> me. Uh, and Daddy, of course. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting ready to go to youth tonight at oh, church. Yeah, going to, you're going to church tonight. And she is going to church. I had a choice this time. Why? I present to you fried rice with pork. <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe!